Our company is part of a holding company for the production of pharmaceuticals in Nizhny Novgorod. We have a variety of equipment for the production of medicines, from a peltizer to an automatic self-adhesive labeling line. At the end of the year, we carried out modernization and started replacing outdated and technically obsolete equipment. I have been working as a chief engineer for 20 years and know very well all the technological processes in the company. I chose new equipment to replace the technically unsuitable one on my own, coordinating it with the management before purchase. It was not an easy job, there was a lot of equipment on the market, processes were changed and automated. The modernization plan also included the purchase of a cardboard machine, which is used for packing goods into cardboard boxes. We pack plastic bottles with antipheretic medicine in the form of tablets. The old machine in the assembly and packaging area was constantly being repaired, and we sometimes couldn't deliver the medicine to the customer on time. Since I had already chosen many different machines for our company, I had a little experience in picking up and remaining contacts of some reliable equipment manufacturers. I began contacting the manufacturers by telephone to find out if they could produce a cardboard machine. My main criteria was that the machine had to have a capacity of at least 2,000 bottles per hour and that it should be automatically controlled. I first approached a company in Germany who offered me an automatic cartoning machine, but they specified that the whole process of delivery, customs clearance and installation of the equipment was not included in the price. Delivery could have been delayed and I declined. Then I contacted the company from Russia. She said that they do not manufacture this type of machine, but if we can wait, they are willing to design and manufacture the machine, but it will not be until next year. I was not prepared to wait that long. Since I could not find a manufacturer for the carton machine, I decided to take a different route and consult with professionals who work in the pharmaceutical equipment supply industry and maybe suggest another option for the machine. I searched the internet for an intermediary from Russia because I once had a bad experience with equipment supplied by a Chinese intermediary when they brought us a line for packing powder, but there were no installation documents or technical passport. It took us a long time to set up the line. We consulted with the manufacturers on the phone, although they were reluctant to talk to us. I chose three vendors online. I looked at the firm's time in the pharmaceutical supply market, the company's website, and the machine's delivery terms as criteria. All the companies I called to make sure of the professionalism of their managers. A specialist from one company said to wait for five minutes, but she never listened to me. I didn't like such attitude to the customer. The manager of another company from Kaliningrad talked to me politely, asked questions about the necessary performance equipment, the desired production time. In five days I received from them in mail 10 variants of various machines for packing products in a carton box and an offer to make a choice on my own. I realized that they did not have a professional approach, and they would not help me in solving the problem of finding the equipment. The last, third intermediary option turned out to be a good one for me. The mail manager talked to me like a professional. He asked me specific questions about the desired productivity of the machine, dimensions, told me about the terms of delivery. During the consultations he suggested an automatic machine for packing bottles of tablets into cardboard boxes which I was able to quickly negotiate with the company management. Within a week we concluded a contract for the supply of equipment. The company specialist offered to test the machine and asked to send blanks of our boxes and bottles to be packed. The manager informed us two weeks prior to delivery of the machine and sent a video where we could see our equipment. A metal tray was used to place bottles with white caps. They were then formed into a flow which moved along a conveyor belt and packed into a single cardboard box. The pieces from which the packaging was formed were folded and held together with metal fixtures to hold them in place. The working area of the packaging stage was bounded by plastic shields to protect it from external influences. The 100 milliliters bottles are packed in white boxes. One month after signing the contract, we received the cartoning machine. The manager provided us with the manufacturer's guarantee, technical passport of the equipment, drawings and operation manual. We assembled the machine and trained the workers who would be assigned to the machine within a week. The automatic equipment for packaging bottles into cardboard boxes turned out to be more productive than we had expected, but it gave us an opportunity to increase our production capacity. The competent advice saved me time and helped me avoid the mistakes I might have made had I made the choice myself. It is difficult to find professionals in the equipment business. I am very glad that in the end, I was lucky to meet such a person. I am satisfied with the result of the work done and am ready to help create products to improve the quality of human life.